Hey, what's going on, guys? Bobby, and today we're going to be building a lighthouse. Well, let's go ahead and start by building a 3x3 three three stone platform, like so. Surround that with stone bricks, making sure not to leave the, the corners. So you should have, like, the, the ender portal looking. Next, what you want to do is the same thing with the cobblestone. Wrap it around the, co the stone brick, making sure to not fill any corners. All right, next thing you want to do, take your stone bricks, figure out where your door is going to be, and then just wrap stone brick around on top of the cobblestone. After that, build up to here, build up to here, take your chisel stone brick, place that there, take your remaining stone brick, and place two here on this side, two on this side, and two on this side, all right? So, so far, you should have like this. Next, we want to take our red concrete and fill it up to the edge here. So, we're making a red lighthouse. After that, after you've gotten that, all right, you want to add another four layers of red. So one, two, three, four layers of red. All right, filling it in. And then what you want to do is you want to put one on top, okay, for the flat feet bits, and then level here. So it'll be four, five, four, four, all the way across, like so. All right, now, now that you got that, what you want to do is you want to place a ring of white concrete the same layer, layer. So you've got your original ender portal design or four by four without the corners wrapped around. All right, so you've got this. All right, next you want to build five layers up from here. So one, two, three, four, five. Also including the little up bit in the middle here. All right. Now, what you want to do is come on the sides here, break this out for a window pane on each side. So right where you got the one red sticking up, you should have one white and then break the next block above it for the window pane. Next step is we want to take a layer of red, make a three by ring at the very top here. Be, remember, don't block this hole. All right. Next, what, what you want to do is you want to take your stone bricks, kid, okay, and your stone brick slat, uh, stairs. You want to place, you want to place Red concrete, another five layers up, two, three, four, five. This time wanting it flat, all right? And do the same like you did with this white one with a one black or one red and a window pane. You wanna do this with all four sides. After you do that, you wanna take your, oak your dark oak door down to the bottom and put it right here. Followed by some iron trap bars one right here on each one on top of the sticking up bit on each side next what you want to do is you want to come up to here put your, your upside down stone bricks there on each side in the middle now after you get done with this you want to take your stone bricks and you want to place a line of three on there going with the with it and you want to place one here. So one on each corner and three across. Making a cross in the middle if you want to if you want to say. Next, take next. You want to take your stone brick slab, a uh, stair uh, stone brick 
and you want to follow that again but out one more so essentially you've got another layer plus some sticky out bit in the center all right then what you want to do is you want to take your uh, stone smooth stone slabs all right and you want to place it top slab on each diagonal side here not bottom but top not bottom but top come on and after you get done with that what you want to do is you want to take out your observers and you want to put them in this orientation so you want them facing two of them like this one of them in there one of them in there basically wrapping it around the build here so this way it makes a loop all right so then if we were to say you can see that they're pulsating now what you want to do is you want to take your stones and place them in here and then take your white concrete and fill this one gap here Okay, do you follow me so far? Next, what you want to do is place observers so that way they're facing down on each of these. All right. And then after you place all the observers here, place white concrete surrounding the observers. Next, what you want to do is you want to take some glass and you want to take some glowstone lamps. You want to place glass on top of the white and redstone lamps here and here. Okay, so essentially you're having both on the outside here. And then go ahead and place your glass surrounding the lamps. So essentially, so far you've got that. Next is the fun bit. You gotta take your, your smooth slabs, your stone bricks, and you wanna place stone brick or stone slabs on top of the glass, stone brick on top of the lamps, and then you want to place stone slabs on top. So now that you've got your lighthouse covered, all right, don't forget to put the windows in here. You can actually make these any color you want. Now, time for the interior. What you want to do is you want to take one of your stairs. It really don't matter what kind of stair you have. I'm going to say we can go for a mossy cobblestone stair. This way it kind of offsets. And of course, you can go ahead and texture this a little bit as to say if it was just sitting here for a while. Just randomly. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to go inside. And you want to have the following items. All right. So what you want is some ladders, a stone brick. You'll need cobblestone wall, dark oak slabs, couple lanterns, campfire, a crafting table, a couple of furnaces. This can be either blast furnaces or regular. You'll need some more iron bars and a grindstone or two or four or how many you feel like so now what you want to do is when you walk on in we'll start with the left okay you want to place your campfire in this little three area go ahead and place a stone bricks up top and a wall up above all right next we want to place a stair facing away so you got yourself a little campfire nook type deal there is not much space in here but you can put a crafting table and two furnaces all right 
Next, what you want to do is you want to take and stir your way on up on this side. So you can place this from the top here, place that there. All right, kind of stair step your way on up. Now you will get to a certain point. Okay, you get to that point, and what you want to do is turn your turn around. So essentially, you're going to have a ladder system to the side here. But we can remove this and place it with white. We won't need it. So you're trying to wrap it around. So this window, all right, go down bottom slab or top slab, I mean, because you got to place a lantern right there. That'll be the bottom of your stairs going down, ladders, stairs. This way you can get up to your observer tower. All right, so go ahead and place ladders on down. Of course, replacing any necessary uh, windows with their acquired blocks on down until you reach to the bottom. So now what you want to do is start stepping on down. Now it'll be wise if you step down this way first and then go down. So that way you can continue on down. This is why we didn't finish down here so we can connect it to everything. So, because you gotta think, when you're down here in survival mode, you're gonna be coming down here. You don't wanna jump down here. So, find a place to stair step down to. And when you're ready, connect it up there. Now you should be able to walk down here without without hitting your head. If so, you've got to maneuver things. And there you go. That that next step is you want to come out here, grab your rhinestone and your iron bars. All right, place your iron bars on each side right here. All right, now go up to your top here. You might have to build temporary blocks, but each side of the stone, the, the stone brick, place the grindstone facing upward. It, it'll have to be facing away or Instead of being facing here to, on the, you want it on here, but facing towards. So it, the, the grindstone itself, the wheel, is facing away from the building on one side and away from the building on the other side, also, also while hanging from the top. And then place iron bars below those grindstones. All right, and there you have it. You have successfully created a lighthouse with a rotating light. So you, you and your friends on your world can build and see which ships are coming. All right, without further ado, peace.